The fake fire is back. The candles that could potentially set my hair alight are also back. So that only means one thing, one thing only. We're talking about Christmas. By the time you watch this video, which is in a couple of days, there will only be four Saturdays until Christmas. And if that scared you, because you've got no Christmas presents, same. I've bought nothing. I'm a fraud. My organised bubble who? However, one thing I will say is prepping for this video helped me and hopefully it will help you too. All these gifts are under £50 barring the odd one because I just wanted to show you it. Before we get into the actual gifts, before that I like to obviously write down everyone I'm going to buy for. So you don't have to buy for every single human being you know. I know some people feel pressured like if you're going somewhere for Christmas and this person's going to be like I need to buy for them. Like you actually don't. Then I think of a budget. Now I'm good with my money but when it comes to Christmas I get carried away but this year I actually do want to try and stay in a budget and then I sort of break gifts down into categories I always ask everyone what do you want or need I don't want to give people things so they're like thank you and then they're thinking where the hell am I going to put this I don't even need this I don't even want this sell it honestly I, don't, I won't be offended and what I like to do is not necessarily just I need this okay get it I'd rather you tell me loads of different things and then it's still a sort of surprise. I'm a bit of a child at that. It has to be a surprise. I don't care if you're 45. And I do this thing called gift grouping, which I'll talk about in the video. I just gave it a fancy name. I don't know why. Like, who do I think I am? I feel like this is what YouTubers do. Hampers, the gift of an experience, which is obviously pretty self explanatory And there's home stuff, beauty. I like to problem solve. Do they struggle sleeping? Or are they someone with curly hair, which the curly hair just isn't doing what it's told? Yeah, I'm talking about you. What is their issue? That's enough of me waffling into the gifts. So this one is a gift slash experience. It's an afternoon tea bag from M&S. What did I say? Say you've got three aunties. You know, I can't buy for all of you aunties. I ain't got the money. I'm not being funny, but there's a cost of living crisis. You all normally go out for afternoon tea, right? Well, you, you buy them one gift, and you all plan to do this afternoon tea with your afternoon tea gift bag. Tell me that ain't a sensational idea. I can't do it because I don't like afternoon tea. But actually, no, I can just shut for the Battenberg, can't I? Everyone loves a notebook, a calendar, a diary. They absolutely don't. Again, problem solving. I really want to get more organised. I'm always forgetting things. Well, Sandra, I've brought you a bloody planner. Oh, and by the way, I haven't got all the gifts physically to show you because what a waste of money. I just did the research so you don't have to. So the best places to buy stuff like this, TK Maxx and HomeSense. Notebooks, love them. Look, wow, you're getting a bit loud, aren't you? Sainsbury's, love their notebooks and all their stationery bits. Paper Chase, classic, obviously. So they have loads of them themed, problem solvy kind of books. So one of them I found is a No More Worries Anxiety Journal. Again, got anxiety. Here's the No More Worries Anxiety Journal. And they've got other ones like meal planners and there's loads of different things. It's gonna suit someone, do you know what I mean? Oh, also as well, Shein, really cheap stationery. I've got something I need to show you. This is some of the washi tape I got from Shein. I'm pretty sure it was like £1.50 for, I swear I got six of these. Also in my Kiki K, I would recommend Kiki K, but they don't do it in the UK anymore and it's really sad. So these little sticky tabs, and some of these have fell off, but these little things. And also one thing I saw, which I actually, got gifted for last Christmas. I'm not even like a big hincher, but I have got her Mrs. Hinch book. I don't use it for cleaning, I just use it for the lists. So this is a good one, especially if they love Mrs. Hinch. When I was going through my loft, if you haven't seen that video, I found my happy planner. It's called the happy planner. It's such a nice planner and it's a really good gift and they have like stickers in the back. There's all different ones. It doesn't look like they're based in the UK, but they, there is a UK website. I'm gonna link the actual Happiness Planner website because you can go on Gift Guide, look at there, and then just go buy it on the other website that ships to the UK. Another really good place for notebooks and books in general, to be honest, is Urban Outfitters. What I do is go on Urban Outfitters and I look at like their gifts and they've got like just random bits you might not think of. And then if it's a decent price, I would get it on there. But sometimes I just take their ideas go on Google and see someone that does it cheaper. I thought this would be a really cute gift. It could be sentimental or it could just literally be because you know they have one of those Instax cameras. Little cute photo album. And I just thought maybe if you actually had little Polaroids, you could put it in and gift them that. Or if you know they're getting one of them for Christmas, you could gift them that as like a little extra. And then I thought this was so cute, a little sunshine photo hook clip thingy. Again, you could put photos on it for them or you could just gift it to them. But again, with that, you might not like that particular one, but then that spurred you an idea to get like a photo hanging thing, 
which could be completely different. I know they do fairy like ones with clips on. Like it doesn't have to be little Polaroids. You just literally, you could go on free prints, get it printed off. They also had this moon and starlight. I love lighting. I love the moon. I love stars. Lighting, I've spoke about in my other two videos that I've done of these, but I can't not. Like I've got a salt lamp. I've got two different ones. I've got like an orangey one. I've got a white one. They currently keep wetting themselves. You can see where it's dribbled. I don't understand. I have had it for a couple of years. So someone could tell me what that is about. Please let me know. And then I always speak about this, but my Starry Night projector. You can get loads of different ones of this. You can have parties with them. You can just chill out. Lighting is just a good gift. Obviously, we all know the classic gifts like candles and stuff like that. But one thing I've never thought of is incense. The one thing I haven't got currently at the moment is an incense stick holder. I'm just sticking it in a candle and it's going everywhere. And look at this cute man on the moon incense stick holder. You could buy incense with it. It's like a good, again, like, that's what I mean by um, gift grouping, by the way. You find one gift, and then it sort of spirals you off into other gifts, and then you group them all, and it's one gift. I've made a fancy name for something very basic. I'm aware of that. Is £13 expensive? I don't know. But like I said, don't forget, use it as inspo, and off you go. Actually, do you know where I first originally got the inspo for? Is this TikTok. And I was like, oh my god, it, a fun incense stick holder. Why have I never thought of that? And then going back to candles and speaking about hampers, my stepmum did once make me a little wax melt candle hamper. You could add incense into that, a little incense. Oh my god, you can make it so good. And then one of my other friends once bought me a melt, you know the melts where you put the, what is that called? Where you put the tea light in and then the melts on top and it melts. She once bought me one of them, the holder, and then little willy ones. And who doesn't like a willy themed gift? So, I went on Etsy and I found some willy wax melts. There's so many different willy themed gifts. But whilst I was on there, I then saw this really cute personalised name ones. And also, speaking of Mrs Hinch again, like a cute Mrs Hinch ones. So if people love cleaning or love Mrs Hinch, there's so many different wax melts on Etsy. Etsy, again... Great place for gifts. It's not like your average gift. Or I could just go into Asda, get a wanky inspired wanky, <laughs> Yankee, Yankee inspired wax melts, or we could get ourselves on Etsy and get a nice willy shape. Sticking on the incense theme, do these cute little houses. This one is Christmas themed, and I said this last time, but what do you think about gifts that are Christmas themed? It's a cute little house and you put an incense cone in there and burn it and it looks like it's coming out the chimney. Adorable. I'm sure you can get ones that aren't Christmas themed. Then I went on Google and typed in cone incense holders and I found this one. How cute is it? Obviously it's gold, but I just thought it's so cute and they do loads of creepy ones as well. Or again, you could go back on Etsy and if you've got anyone that's a staff sign weirdo, yeah, I'm one of those people, don't judge me, do these really nice star sign candles, I got one for my cousin, and it says there's star sign on it, and then it has all the little crystals, and it's so pretty on top. Another thing Etsy's good for is if you are gifting an experience, maybe you're going all out this year and you're gifting a trip away, you can get scratch cards that reveal a destination. And actually, I've, I've done this. Let me let me show you. Hold on. This was three ninety nine from Etsy, which I think is a bargain. And I'm taking my boyfriend to Amsterdam for his birthday. Which do you want me to vlog, by the way? If you remember my first Amsterdam trip, I'm slightly scared. I need to know why this is fun? Because it's not fun. I think everyone knows. Everyone's looking at me, but are they going to take me? And Liam Nielsen isn't going to come and get me. Then what? This is his boarding pass. He scratched off the gold and revealed Amsterdam. How cute is that? I'm not a big fan of vouchers. Obviously, I appreciate if I get one, but I'm not really into gifting someone a voucher. I just feel like it's an exchange of money. This is a dig at my little brother again. I always buy my voucher and I hate it. Also on Etsy, get, so say you're gifting money, you can get scratch cards that reveal how much you're just making it a bit more fun than it is 20 quid. And another way to make them kind of gifts more fun is to say you do like an Odeon voucher. That's a thing, by the way. You could then gift it with popcorn and film related stuff. Or like what I did to my little brother last year, I wrapped up some chocolates with it in personalised wrapping paper. There's a photo of him that is absolutely hilarious. My stepmom, me, and my little sister, we're all in the bedroom, my little brother, and he gets his leg, because he's messing around, he gets his legs trapped 
in the bunk bed. Gets it trapped and then he starts crying. This is just like, I can't on YouTube. If you've not got dark humour, just skip. Because back in the day, we'd get like a pink digital camera and I'm there like, ah! Um, I'll take a photo of him. Don't help the poor boy, no. Just take a photo of him. We, we all laugh about it still to this day, as you can tell. He's got his leg trapped like, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I printed that off on wrapping paper and I used it for the Christmas and then any other opportunity. This is the 90s gift that I was like, wow, I actually think I want one. It's a 90s kids mystery box. And the reviews are really good. Mystery box of all things that are gonna make you feel really nostalgic. And I love old stuff, because how fun is that? Because you just don't know what it's gonna be, and it might even be things you forgot. Why did I just go like that? I don't know. And it's not even a bad price. That's the thing with Etsy as well. You can just get random boxes. Maybe you can get other, like, 80s mystery box. Search it, I don't know. Maybe I'll search it. A little video plan isn't going to plan, because back to Urban Outfitters, I saw these little trinket trays. I didn't look anywhere else for these. Eight pounds, to me, doesn't seem that much. Maybe for a little tray it is. I don't know. I like home bits that has been bought by someone else or that aren't just, I went and picked it from Darnell. Um, I do have, like, a little, I guess it's called a trinket, like a little Pisces one. But that was a gift, and it's something I wouldn't have bought myself. And that's another thing I forgot to mention. I like to buy people gifts that they necessarily wouldn't buy themselves. And again, gift grouping, you could also give them, say, like, a ring, a bracelet, a Pandora charm, alongside it if you wanted to, or not. Completely up to you. But it, it just groups well together, that gift grouping. Like a puzzle piece. It's maybe a bit niche. But if you have any cereal lovers in your life, I'm a cereal lover. Naomi once bought me a spoon that says Jesse's Cereal Spoon. Love the spoon. But this overpriced but amazingly pretty bottle is something I would definitely not buy myself. But I would absolutely love to have. And this, When I did do this video, I feel like I'm hinting for people to buy me things. I'm not. I'm just saying, like, I would appreciate an overpriced bowl, which... On a grand scheme of a gift, it's not that expensive, but for me to go buy one singular bowl for 15 quid, that's just not going to happen, is it? Again, you could group that with their favourite cereal, Crunchy Nut. Could you could group it with the cereal spoon. Or maybe it's not even for cereal. Maybe they make those bowls where it's all pretty. Like a row of nuts, some drizzled peanut butter, strawberries, berries. I do have a bowl from HomeSense, which I actually did buy myself, and it probably wasn't £15. And it's plain white, and inside is a nice blue pattern. I love eating my porridge out of that. And I could make it all pretty. I don't, but I could. Same thing goes for pretty mugs. Again, I wish I was a hot drinker. A hot drinker? A hot drink drinker. I'm not. You can buy so many different pretty mugs. HomeSense is actually a great place for that too. I know how some shops pre-make it, but it'd be nicer if you did it yourself. Or pre-made, who cares? But to make it a bit more special and personalised, you could get a mug get stuff to put in the mug, and then you get the cellophane, the bow, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, here's your gift. Personally, I think perfume's a gift, and I shouldn't have to buy my own perfume. But because I actually do have to sometimes, what is this life? I buy the cheaper ones for myself, because quite frankly, I don't want to spend however much my stepmom and dad spend on my perfume. But if we're going high-end and expensive, my favourite is Parada Gandhi. I probably should move on from it, but I can't. But Zara perfumes are one of my favourite, cheaper perfumes. This is my newest. Love this one. I can't describe smells. It's like Oudi. This one I've nearly used, but it's red vanilla. And then another nice one is black amber. They also do men's scents. Can't give you any recommendations on that, I'm afraid. But they do. I spoke about this in my What I Bought This Month video. This from Superdrug is a body spray alien dupe. This is the big one. You can get a little one, but it's so good. Other body sprays that are good. Boots do the little Ted Baker stuff. Again, you can get bigger, bigger ones and smaller ones. And also... Victoria's Secrets. I do talk about them in my other gift guide. I'll link both my other gift guides because I did try to make the gifts different this year and from the year before. But some things are just classics and I did talk about different scents in that one. I said I didn't want to overlap gifts from my last gift guides but this one I've got to. I can't show you because they're actually embarrassingly battered now. My boyfriend walked in and he was like, what the, what the hell are they on your feet? They're my slippers darling and I love them. They were here before, you're all right. They're these Lindsay slippers. And when I say they're the best quality slippers I've ever had and they're a bargain, I'm not being dramatic. They come in different colors. I love them. This is a hint 
Paula, if you're watching, I would like them again. So if you haven't got them, get them for yourself. Or don't. Send this clip. It's not a clip, but cut it down. I, what am I saying? Just get the slippers. Now let's talk about beauty, skincare. I personally love the ordinary. And obviously with skincare, everyone has different skin types. But I've never known the rosehip seed oil to not work for someone's skin. So maybe you can just be introducing them to a new skincare product. Again, you could group this gift with other things. And another thing actually is face mist. So I used to have the Mar Mario Podesco. I want it back basically. I would like another one. I think I might buy one at Lakeside tonight. Face mist. You can mist it when your face has no makeup on. You can mist it when there is makeup on. It's really refreshing. There's different ones. I like the aloe vera one. I think there's a jasmine one. And then also speaking of face mist, if you have someone in your life that wears makeup, you don't even have to know if they use a setting spray. They will thank you for this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And like makeup and things, you can give with a makeup bag. I did talk about makeup bags in my previous one, so go look at that, because I've seen loads of people with that one now, and they're always like, this is such a good makeup bag, and I'm thinking, do I need it? But now I've got my drawers, so I don't need it. Wanting to buy makeup as well, I did see on ASOS Gifts, which, again, good place to go and have a look. They did different palettes and stuff. I think a nice eyeshadow palette, if they do eyeshadow, is a good gift. Whilst we're talking about ASOS, I did see loads of nice water bottles on there. So, that sounds so boring, but like, problem solving again, they don't drink enough water. They always say, I must drink enough water in the new year, I'm going to drink more water. A nice water bottle can really help with that. Top tip from a water drinker. Water bottle. Or, glass straws. I gave my cousin some glass straws. He loved the glass straws, so that's a good gift as well. You can get loads of different ones. As in like, glass colours. Gifts for couples or a friend is the gift of an experience and on Virgin Day's experience, I'm pretty sure they had a sale on and they probably have a Black Friday sale. There was something about a sale that I saw. Comedy night tickets, there's so many different options. And you could go on Etsy, get a little scratch thing, make it fun. I think that's nice because they get to go, oh, lovely, great. And then they've got the anticipation, the weight, the comedy club tickets are really not that expensive. And then you get to hear about their night. Maybe you gift it for a friend and you're going to go. On my deathbed, I'm going to think about the experiences, not, oh, God, my Kiki K book. I mean, I might. Then that led me to, not on the high street, another website that just exists to me at Christmas. They have a whole section for gifts for couples. This I do want, I love, I've, I've spoke about this gift before I was thinking about it as a gift. On Amazon they do these murdery, murdery? Murder mystery case files. And again, you could get this for a couple, for siblings, for your friends, you could do it together, they could do it with whoever they want, maybe they don't want to do it with you. Um, but you solve a murder, there's all different like evidence and you have to solve the murder. How fun! There's loads of people out there like me, thriller, crime freaks that love twisted stuff that are gonna love this. Why do we like that stuff? I do question, is there something wrong with me? Am I a murderer? I'm not. Do I wanna be? No. And then lastly, we've got subscription services. Now this is for the person that has everything. You're like, what the hell do I get you? So you can get, you can just search subscription services. You can get them for flowers, you can get them for loads of things. As you can tell, I haven't done my research. I think I got to the subscription service bit and was like, I can't do any more research on this video. That's a bit lazy, isn't it? I can't, sorry, I can't do it all. I actually can't. You're gonna have to help me out. But subscription services are a good one. That concludes the 2022 gift guide. I hope that helps. Everything will be linked below. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. I just looked in the mirror and noticed there was lipstick all in the corner of my mouth. Why didn't none of you tell me?